Let me ask you some questions. Have you got questions? You really should speak to Hod. He's the leader of our clan in our war with these damn immortal dryads. <coughs> okay. Uh, I can't find Hod. Hod be in the northwestern area of this region. And not be hard to find for sure. Just be careful in the northeast. There be the home of them immortal dryads. Travel safely while you're in these parts. Danger be all around. <coughs> <coughs> you should actually wonder, I mean, if these people, well, dwarves and dryads have been fighting for thousands upon thousands of years, apparently. I mean, they'd be pretty skilled fighters by now. I mean, always learning from their own mistakes and all that. They'd be like master fighters. Kind of cool. You may not be a Mjern clan, but you're a dwarf right enough. I figure you must be alright. My name is Hod, leader of me clan. Is there something I can help you with? Why are the dryads at war with you? The leaf lovers cannot be reasoned with. They're mad, I tell you. They attack us on sight, unleashing their fame magic upon me and my kin. And yet in my heart, I wonder if the dryads are the only ones to blame. I don't speak of it with my kin, but something, sometimes things is strange. Like I've been having a dream, or a nightmare. In my vision, I see dryads slain, and their axes chopped down by my own kin's axes. Aye, it is enough to make me wonder if we dwarves have ever fallen under the same strange madness as the tree huggers. Have you always been at war with dryads? Nay, I, I think once it were different long ago. Though it'd be hard to recall not but, but bloodshed. Yet there be strange images, images haunting me dreams of dwarves and dryads stand shoulder to shoulder. I've seen another time when me kin and the leaf lovers both served a terrible master, slaves to a faceless shadow of evil. But the memories be dark as shadows in the heart of a mine. Maybe me thoughts is not even real. Aye, it truly seems me kin has always been at war with the dryads. I want to ask you some questions. Blah blah blah. Okay. So we can't really ask any new questions. So basically, the, the dwarves are at war with the elves uh, at a certain uh, point uh, when you turn it, and otherwise, the dry and if you turn it the other way, the dryads are at war with the uh, dwarves. Um, this goes on and on because they keep getting reborn. Now. There is something that both parties are unaware of. And that is another player in this game. Quick save. Oh. right here. Here we go. Snow Globe Cave. I'm gonna oh, oh, quick save here though because this oh, book piles marbles and hot strip. I'm gonna have to read those. I have to oh, add a chest. Send the chest. Got stunned, damn it. Now I can't get dazed anymore, now I get stunned. For fuck's sake. Let's just read this journal. Uh, uh, oh. Broken amulets of the ages. On one side are inscribed strange symbols of long forgotten language, on the other side is an engraving of Dryas Tree and a golden hammer. Let's read these. This is a journal. Final entry is: Warden fell upon us yet again. 
Her savagery was terrifying, but at last I and my sister managed to drive them off. How many times were we slain in that hell? The only to be reborn and slain it again. War, death, rebirth, the cycle never ends. In my dreams there are visions of a different world. I see Dwarf and Dryad working together, allied against a common and terrible foe in a bid to escape this pointless existence. I remember the whispers of a powerful talisman, a tool to free both Dryads and Dwarves. The Amulet of Ages. A beautiful memory of a time long forgotten, or a promise of hope for the future. If we could only speak with the Dwarves and make them understand. But they are mad with bloodlust and attack us on sight. I fear this gruesome cycle will continue forever. This brutal existence will never end. <coughs> now, Hearts Journal. The Dryads came at us again, using their foul magic. The fighting was bloody fierce, but at least we drove the three huggers at back. How many times did I die in that battle only to be reborn and slain again? Does it even matter anymore? Fighting, death, rebirth, fighting, it never ends. Sometimes in my, dre in my dreams I see a different world. I see Dwarf and Dryad working together, allied against a common and terrible foe in a bid to escape this pointless existence. And I remember the fading echoes of a powerful talisman, a tool to free both the them Dryads and we Dwarfs, the Amulet of Ages. It is a memory of a time lost or a hope for the future. Is it a memory of a time lost or a hope for the future even? If the Dryad would only listen to reason, then maybe. But they are mad and attack us on sight. The fighting will never end and this pointless existence will continue forever. So basically it's both exactly the same, just from another, the other species. Now uh, there you see the terrible master they all speak of the guardian white dragon let's talk to him you will not Searching for the words of power. Your name. Your name means nothing to me, male. But I have I have been too long absent from your world. But a word of power. That is something with, with, with which I am very familiar. It was a time when it would have snuffed your existence for daring to even mention the word in my presence. But centuries of solitude has called the passion of my icy blood. I can tell you this, I can tell you of this word of power, if you wish, though its magic is far greater than anything your trivial intellect will be able to comprehend. Man, that's bad for my voice. <coughs> yes, tell me about the word of power. <coughs> the world is an ancient magic fashioned by the creator race that ruled the north before the time of manlings. Even I was not yet hatched when they vanished from the world. I was able to harness the magic of the word, using it to shape this realm, to give eternal life to my slaves, and to make my body, my own body, immortal. Where is the word now? The magic of the world sustains this realm and my own existence. It is never far from me. More than this I will not tell you. The word is mine, and you shall never have it. Mm, is there nothing I can offer you in exchange for the word? Can you offer me immortality? The word sustains me. It is life itself. There is nothing you can trade. You can offer and trade mortal. Okay, let's ask something else. How does this world exist inside the snow globe? I cannot even imagine. I cannot even begin to explain the magics I use to create this realm to a creature so pitiful as you. Suffice to say, this realm is mine. 
creators using the ancient magic of the creator race bound in the world of power. Okay, let's ask something else. Who are you? Long ago, I was known as Maferno Se Kedena in the old language. At a time when I was known as Winterfang in the tongues of the Madlings. But these names mean nothing now. They are forgotten and vanished from your world as I am. Now I am the Builder, the Creator, the Master. This realm is mine, and within it, all bow down to me. Okay, let's ask something else. About the dwarves and the dryads. They are my creations, my servants, my slaves. I gave them eternal life when I built this realm, and they might serve me. They might serve my every need, but my needs are few, and it is rare that I am forced to call upon the creatures for this service. It's been many centuries since I last spoke with them, and now they only cower in fear or flee in terror at my approach. Why are you always fighting with each other? Slaves must have an enemy. If they do not, they will turn against their master. I learned this once long ago. The dwarves and dryads were plotting against me. I gave them existence and eternal life, and they dared to conspire to defeat me. I could have destroyed them, but they are my servants. I would only be destroying my own property. Instead, I brought their loyalties to this realm so that neither dwarf nor dryad would ever n work together again. Now they, have each, uh, now they have each other to hate, and I am left in peace. Now I have need of one race to serve. The other is consumed by an insane bloodlust. When I have need of the other race, the spell is inverted, and those who were sane are now taken by madness. It is wrong to enslave these creatures. I created them, and they are mine to do with as I please. Without me and the magic of the word of power to sustain them, they would cease to exist. Oh, let's go. So we learn a bit more about this place around here, just to be sure. See, there's a chest over there, with, uh, some nice loot in it. I think the Word of Power might actually been it be in there as well, but the problem is as soon as you open it, well, I'll show you. I'm gonna rip your head off and make it my puppet! Sorry. Ah, uh, damn it. Can't open it even. Well, basically, he doesn't like it when you touch his chest, as in his box, with the word of power in. Now, what we need to do is go back outside and talk to the dwarves and the dryads once more, and show them the thing of ages. Is it the amulet? Amulet of ages? Yes, the amulet of ages. <laughs> Find it funny how you can make, I mean, even the mundanest thing sound awesome by just adding a few words to it, like a coffee pot. No, this is not a coffee pot. This is the coffee pot of ages. Da da da. Um, what do you make of this amulet? Oi, it is a pretty thing, in, thing indeed, and it looks familiar, as if it were known to me long ago. You see the fancy writing on the back, an old and ancient, and I can figure out the words, three and, f three and forge united to overthrow the master. The amulet was forged to hold great magic, but you see how it be cracked now. Whatever magic it once had is long ago, is long gone. Anything to fix it? Oh, you suppose I could repair the crack? It'd be uh, simple enough for me to cast a mending spell on it for you. Stand back, I will work my magic. The magic, 
amulet be whole again? Do it still be lacking the magic to make it a true amulet? Me clan know the secret of magic eye, but only the power of fire, forge, hammer and anvil. This amulet be forged to hold the power of tree and earth. The dryads have such power right enough, who they, they could craft it for you, but the tree huggers be crazed. You be a fool if you try to speak to them as they'll attack you on sight. That be all I can tell you about your amulet, I'm afraid. Okay, let's leave them. Now, of course, everyone knows now what we need to do. So we need to dryads, but the dryads at this point are actually kind of mental, as in they'll attack me as soon as I step anywhere near them. So what we need to do, obviously, is go back outside and turn it back around. Because that's what it's all about. Do the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. That's right. Okay, let's leave the dwarf. Okay, let's leave the anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And he's gone. And another dwarf from there. That is near there. Let's kill that one now. Kill, kill, kill. The precious Kula can make on me anvil. That's actually funny. <laughs> Let's talk to our will again. Bid you welcome once again. Dwarven friend. What do you make of this amulet? This amulet looks familiar. As if I knew it once long ago. Blah, blah, blah. I know I know. You make it magic. Okay. Something wrong. Conjure strange visions in my mind. Half-remembered images of a time long ago when dryads and dwarf alike served a terrible cu cruel master. Tell me more about this vision. You're cold as death, I must. And I see, it is unclear, I see the amulet, yes, the amulet of ages, forged to slay the master and free us from this existence. I remember, we set out against the master, dwarves and dryads together, and... No, the memory is fading. The master was too strong. The amulet cracked. Its magic was lost. And, and, I'm sorry, the vision is gone. It's as if some great spell has stripped the memories from my mind. I can tell you nothing more about the amulet, for the master we all the master we once served. I am sorry. Maybe I could free you from this master. The only release we seek is death. Perhaps if you could slay the master we could find peace. But it may be the master is already dead. Even now I cannot remember. Okay. Let's go kill the master. Yeah, we're gonna fight a dragon. I mean, it, it is Dungeons and Dragons, so it's kind of normal that we fight a dragon at some point in the game. <sighs> this is gonna suck big time. It's gonna suck. It's gonna suck big time. Because dragons are, well, a bitch. See if we can resist cold. Saving throw against the cold. Okay, let's switch it out then. Okay, let's go. He's not attacking us yet. Let's see. Okay, impossible. Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, let's head outside and do some prepping because I actually wanted to do some prepping before I went and, uh, and attacked him. Okay, let's quick save here. Potion of Bless. Oh, shit. Okay, now it's attacking. 
Damn it! Feared, right? Yeah, right. Fuck. Now I'm immune to a spell. And I get feared to his ice spells, and I get feared now. At least he can't attack me here. Oh yeah, there go my fortitude and will saving throws. Come on! Get that frickin' fear out of here! that on myself. Can't even use... Uh, <sighs> okay, let's load. Oh, save. Uh, 35, yeah, no. <sighs> Screw it. Let's try it with... The anti fear necklace. There we go. Thankfully, he's not coming out now. Arrows a bit better. The other. Yes, let's take endurance. Anything else we have here? No. Let's take that. Let's see how that'll work. Here against Mr. Dragon. And I have to be quick with the heals because this guy is. Huh. Ooh, critical hit 95 damage. Come on. He's badly wounded. Come on. Almost got it. Not easy. Shit. Now he's gonna find me. This is not good. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> we actually got him. That was a lot easier than last time I did this. Huh. Okay. Um. Uh, Be getting some remains from him now. God damn it. Or did the chest just open now? I'm not too sure. Ah, yes, it just opened. Cool. Now, the word of power! And a lot of other stuff. <laughs> yeah! A lot of nice. Expensive stuff. You cannot sleep. My magic has sealed the door. The word of power shall not leave until you have answered my questions. Who do you serve? I am Drogon Ironfang. I serve the Lord's Alliance in the city of Neverwinter. These names mean nothing to you. Your cities are young. Your history but a single page in the accounts of the world. There is only one name that matters to me among your kind. Morgrim. Tell me, do you serve Morgrim? Morgrim is the enemy of Neverland. No, I shall not rest until Morgrim is dead. I see you speak the truth. This is all. Your enemies are mine as well. Morgan must be stopped. He must not get the words of power. 
I've asked your questions, now tell me who you are. My name is Pedralin, leader of the world slaves. This is but a projection of my truth. I am yet too far to aid you in this task. Mm -hmm. There is more I would tell you. My spell is fading. Find the words before more. For the world you know will not survive. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Let me get the rest of the loot now. Awesome. There we go. And that side. We go. Alright. That's one of the words of power we got now. <laughs> Funny. We'll never be able to finish that quest. We'll be trapped there forever. Eh, he deserves it. Let's go downstairs. And get Sharwin back. Let's talk to Lillian for a minute. Let's see what she has to say about all this. Hey! I know you! You're one of them heroes! Gen hired to find them words of power, right? Sure! That's you! Oh, wait, just cut me off. <laughs> I can't talk to you. <laughs> I'm not some drunk. Respectable Archie. Archie, you the... I'm a respected expert in my field. Why is no clothes empty? Empty and all gone. I need another drink to get my spirit shot. <laughs> okay. She's wasted. Well, at least she got uh, herself another drink. I mean, she was complaining about the fact that she wasn't getting another drink, so now she got one. Yay! Okay. Let's go get Sherwin back, shall we? Crazy old woman. Well, old. She's not really old, is she? Dying was. Yes. Okay. Sharwin with me? I think she is. Yeah, she is. Okay, let's head very fast to the mer So I click there and he goes over there. I click there and he goes over What kind of a weird pathfinding system does this frickin' game have? Seriously, it's so messed up. very much. Okay, let's drop the traps again. Drop. No. Drop it. And drop it. Or some new book. Let's see. AC6, AC5, AC3, and nothing else. Okay, so drop it as well. Let's go back outside. 
Well, let's go tell Aaron Ghent about our discovery of the first word of power. He should be happy about that. And after that, I'm going to end the recording. Yes, indeedy. Aaron Ghent, there we are. You are back. Have you something to report? I have one of This is good news. And the gods know we have had precious little enough of that lately. With Erebeth at their head, the Luskan forces are winning victory after victory over the Lord's Alliance troops. And all the while, Magram and his cult continue their search for the words of power. At least there is one here they will not have. My loyal network of scouts will spirit the word away to Castle Neverwinter for safekeeping until Lord Nash's scribes can discover its use. On behalf of the city of Neverwinter and Lord Nasher himself, please accept this reward of 2,000 gold pieces as a token of our gratitude. Times are difficult. Ah. I know that if my sources are correct, there are still several more words of power yet to be found. I hope your success at locating the words continues. Uh, let's talk her. Let's tell him about Hadrian. Normally, Neverwinter counts the Lizardmen amongst her enemies, but your news is not completely unexpected. I have received reports of a lizard creature and her followers doing battle with Malgrim's cult. <laughs> this must be that Hadrian you mentioned. I will need to consider this new information carefully. But this is not your concern. You must focus on finding the words. I wish you luck in your mission. Return to me once you have another of the words. Okay, that's gonna be for the next video. So I bid you all farewell. And as always, stay safe. And game on. Bye-bye, people.